It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to add additional file storage to Chrome OS. So on a Chromebook, there's not a lot of memory. And so in the file opener, there's some files that are on your Chromebook, which is on the hard drive. There's also a section for files that you have stored on cloud storage. Like there's free Google Drive and OneDrive and stuff like that. So because Google Drive is by Google and Chromebooks are also by Google, when you open the file file place, you notice that the Google Drive is already there. But what if you like to use OneDrive or a different type of online file storage? Well, in this episode, Timmy's going to show you how to add different types of files. When you open up your Chromebook, you need to go into the file system. So you click on it down there. If it isn't down there, you can click on this and find it in the app launcher. But it'll probably be on what they call the bookshelf, which is just down there. So now, here it is, where it says Downloads, this is the folder full of files that are saved onto your Chromebook. And if you go up here, that's Google Drive, and all these things are relating to Google Drive. But maybe you don't want to use Google Drive, so there's an Add New Services button here. You just click that, and then you click Install New from the Web Store. So you click that and it brings up this little window here and right now it's loading all the different services that you can add into the file system so you can't necessarily add all of the different online storage things but most of the popular ones will be there so you'll see now there's Dropbox and then the Windows and there's OneDrive now, Timmy wants to install OneDrive, so Timmy's just going to click Install. So, now it's checking, and it says, do you want to add this? And you just click Add App. And it has to download a little file down here. And now it's just installing it, and it will only take a moment. So now that it's installed, brings up this, mount your OneDrive, and you just click mount. And now it's attempting, attempting to mount. So in a moment, it will have mounted OneDrive. So now what it's doing is it's brought up this page to sign in so it knows who you are and what OneDrive it should be adding. So if you don't have a OneDrive account yet, you can create one here, or if you want, you can just go online and create it. But Timmy already has an account, so Timmy is going to just sign in now. So you just type in your email and your password, and then you tick keep me signed in, so that you won't have to do this every time, it'll only be once. Then you just click sign in. And now it says mounted successfully. So now down underneath downloads, you'll see a OneDrive tab. So you can click on OneDrive and it brings up all the files that you have in OneDrive. So you can open these and move them and do all the things you can just like it's in Google Drive or even saved onto your Chromebook, except you do have to be within Wi-Fi connectivity to do it because all these OneDrive files are actually on the internet. It's just letting you access them here. So that's how you do it. That'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Timmy. Bye.